Hello and welcome back to the J-Hart Model Works channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Tamiya Jaguar XJ220. This is not a new kit, um, but it is new to me. I got this one for Christmas, and this is a big box. Uh, this is an A3 size cutting mat. This box takes up almost the entire thing. Um, <clears throat> so, as we see on the front, typical beautiful Tamiya box art. Got some pictures, a bunch of Japanese that I don't speak, uh, some side, front, and rear profile in red. So we're going to go ahead and open the box and take a look. Got our Tammy instruction sheet. And it's the Typical fold-out style. Got a page with all of our Tamiya paint call-outs. I've looked through some of these and honestly, I'm going to be doing some paint substitutions when I build mine, but that's just me. We've got our engine assembly. Page one, page two, exhaust, more engine and tail lights. Now this part on the bottom here it shows to paint uh, this is a flat black or a semi-gloss black and then this just the very tip of the diffuser and gunmetal gray. Um, every reference picture I've seen for this car that shows the under chassis uh, I've done a lot of Google searching and they all seem to be kind of a glossy appearance underneath so I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one as a gunmetal gray for the whole uh, under chassis. Make the engine to the chassis Got some suspension work. Beginnings of the interior. Making the interior and doing some more chassis work. We got some wheel assemblies. And we get to the body. Looks like you can do this with the, uh, so you're supposed to be able to do this kit to lift and lower the, uh, Headlight covers. We'll see how that works out. It'll probably work out fine. Tammy is typically pretty good with this stuff. It also looks like you can assemble most of the body prior to mounting it to the chassis. Um, so I will probably mount a lot of this just so I can paint it in one piece and get a good even paint. Um, I don't know, I might do this, uh, these vents here. I might leave them separate. I might glow them in. I'm definitely going to add the sides on before I paint it. Um, and the spoiler will be done separately just so I can make sure I get real good on this area underneath. Don't want any bad spots. And the uh, call out for decals. And set that aside. We got some uh, most of our sprues here. We're gonna open those up and look at those individually here in a second. The body looks to be in pretty good condition. Doesn't seem like it's very like it's warped at all. Sometimes I find problems with Ravel where that under chassis gets warped and you just can't do anything with it. Uh, in here, it looks like we've got a metal transfer for the back for the Jaguar logo, as well as the glass, which appears to be okay. We have our decals, 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 whichever the many ways you want to call them. Uh, when I build this thing, I'm going I'm looking at a dark metallic green. I'm actually looking at using uh, Zero Paints Ferrari Zeltwig, uh, Verde Zeltwig, which is a dark green that I used on a Ferrari 328 build. I still have three fourths of a bottle left, but uh, these look to be really nice. So I'm probably gonna go with those silver logos for the body. Dage. Cluster looks to be good, so hopefully those will work out. 
And we got our tires and poly caps. Also looks like we have these little metal bolts that you use to pin or not bolt pins. So you got some aluminum pins in there. So we're going to go ahead and get these opened up and take a look at these in more detail. Be right back. Welcome back and we're now looking at the body. We're going to begin here. So molded in a silver plastic. It does look like there's a seam where the uh, plastics came in through the injection and met together. Looking at the body, there are plenty of mold lines. You can see them right through here, right there. You might want to check, make sure these aren't actual body lines, but every picture I've seen, these don't seem to be. Uh, again, on this side, you've got some mold lines through here. These are all going to have to be cleaned up and sanded. Uh, back here, all the way along the back. And in here as well gonna look at some uh, car so long it's hard to get it up to the camera without getting too close there's some uh, mold seam right there as well so a lot of prep work is gonna have to go into this get this ready for paint but all in all it like I said earlier nothing seems warped it sits pretty flat it looks like it's gonna be a good build Next we're going to look at the glass and this is kind of a letdown. My uh, rear glass broke off probably in shipping. Looking in here and I don't know if we are going to get to see this or not, but right there on this edge there's some, um, looks like scratches, but when I feel on the plastic the plastic is perfectly smooth so that may not be scratched at all that could be stress fractures inside the the plastic for them the molding you got it all through the left hand side window as well um, let's see if we can get this in so not the cleanest glass but um it's fairly small. It's not horribly noticeable. Typically, Tammy is better than that. It looks like there's a little bit here as well. I'm move on to Silver Sprue. Looks like most of this is body and chassis engine work. There are your buckets for your headlights. Some suspension pieces through here. Molding is really well done. Lots of detail. Just beautiful, crisp, typical Tamiya de detail. I'm, I'm really suspecting that maybe that glass was just a a one-off because Tim is usually so much better than that lots of detail on the belt section engine covers really well done next we have our black sprue which is chassis panel some more uh, chassis support a lot of suspension pieces in here the rear louvers and this is actually the back grill, not the front. All in all, looks good. Like I said, Tamiya's instructions say to basically go almost straight across here and paint it like gunmetal back here and then all of this flat. But every photo I've seen shows them kind of glossy, so I'm going to go ahead and just do it all in gunmetal. And our final sprue was kind of a light gray. Looking at our interior mostly. So you got your steering wheel, your door cards, plenty of detail on them. Lots of crisp detail. Our seats look good. 
Some chassis tub, lots of interior or chassis tub detail. The dashboard, interestingly enough, this kit is right hand drive only. Usually when we see these, we uh, one sided kits, it's American, you know, left hand side drive, but it looks like the British guys got us on this one. It's our turn to have a one sided car. Brakes. Got your calipers, nicely detailed calipers, so I won't have to be doing any aftermarket on this. Um, I'm sure you probably could order a whole set of aftermarket brakes if you wanted, but these look good to me. And our wheels. Our wheels are in the same gray plastic, so probably going to be painting these. Maybe a flat aluminum. Box art shows to be kind of an aluminum, maybe a gloss or a black. It doesn't show them to be a chrome. So, do some reference on those. Interestingly enough, there are no sprues for chrome in this kit. I think this may be my first kit to not have chrome sprues. Tires. You do get a staggered front to back. Tread detail looks really nice. There's not a huge jarring seam in the middle don't have to really sand these if you don't want to. I'm probably going to just lightly sand them to get a little bit of a used look out of them. Let's see if we can get some focus here. Maybe not. Cameras. We do get some sidewall detail. Some branding on there. On both sides of the tire that's very nice and yes we do in fact have a metal transfer with the Jaguar logo for the back of the car uh, there is a decal for the front I'm going to look to see if I'm going to use that decal maybe do something aftermarket um, if it's molded, I may try and just dry brush it, but we'll see. All in all, it looks like it is going to be a great kit. And a fun build. We'll see how this goes. Again, here's that front end. And yeah, going to have to do a decal there. So I'm not definitely not good enough to paint that. But going to have to do some masking to get this front grill and that there but again all in all a beautiful kit typical tamiya high quality um thank you for watching if you like the video hit subscribe like share it with your friends uh, leave a comment i would love to answer questions love to get some feedback and have a great day